So I kind of stole my sister's bag collection. <laughs> Today we are going through my sister's handbag collection. Not mine. My sister's not here, so I can be really brutally honest about what I think. <laughs> We've done my luxury handbag collection. Today we are doing my sister's. This is my sister. This is my sister and I. We look quite similar. Sometimes we have very similar handbag tastes, luxury, fashion taste, but sometimes very different. There are a few handbags in this collection that I would never purchase ever. <laughs> she loves them and each their own. Good on her. I'm sure I have a couple of things in my wardrobe that she wouldn't buy either. So <laughs> this is going to be interesting because some of these bags I've had or I would never buy or I would like to have. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's go. I'm not going in any particular order here. I'm just going from the bottom of the pile to the top of the pile. <laughs> bottom of the pile to the top of the pile. So, wow. So this is one of her most used handbags, I would say. This is her Neverfull in the GM size. <laughs> that's my, that's the all in, in the MM. This is the GM Neverfull. And I think my sister got this the year the Neverfull was released. So when you look inside, you can definitely tell that it's been well used, well loved and I tried it on. I just don't like the thin straps. I'm not a Neverfull fan, obviously. I went with an all-in, but the other reason I'm not a huge fan of this is that they're very common now, everyone's got them, and I'm pretty sure Louis Vuitton just announced these are being phased out, discontinuing. So it will become a collector's item, a vintage piece, I think they'll just reinvent it and bring it back. It's my opinion. But anyway, let's see if that eventuates. So that's the first one. Sticking with Neverfulls. This is her Neverfull in the... Is this PM? This one with the MM. This is the smaller size. I am pretty certain that you could only get two sizes at the time. And this is her Damier Aben. I think she's had this for a similar amount of time. I'm not sure which one was purchase first or the price I'm afraid sorry I like the red inside I love that just probably not I don't know I'm not a huge fan of the checkerboard it reminds me of the Vans shoes <laughs> you know the ones this is my all-in in the MM size so obviously the GM is side by side oh can we fit in so this is actually slightly bigger well, there you go yeah which one do you like better comment down below and let me let me know which one you prefer this is not my normal location this is my mum's house so i am staying with her until i find somewhere to live i just relocated from sydney to tasmania where i'm from these are side by side and i don't always sound like this either i've got a head cold <laughs> so you've got sexy raspy sam today we're going back in time now because I have one of these. We both got one at the same time. And my sister's is far in far better condition than mine. This is the Tivoli. And if you're interested at looking at one of these that's been aged, <laughs> check out my entire luxury bag collection video linked up there to see the difference because Hers is in such better condition. It's a lovely bag. Jeez, hers is in good, good nick. You could nearly use this now. I love this bag because of the length, adjustable shoulder straps. Can easily throw this on, especially if it's full. And when you've got stuff in it, it's really easy to open it up and see inside. Just got um one stain in the bottom but hers is in very good condition very good condition same age i'll sit off i can't remember when we got these it's in i'll put it in the description yes yeah, so that's that one beautiful patina actually all right so this would be my sister's first louis vuitton bag this is triggering me because 
I got one at the same time and I sold mine. Finale kept hers. This is a Speedy 30 without a bandolier because they weren't in existence at the time. This was about 800 and something dollars in Sydney. Isn't it cute? Geez, it looks small without the bandolier. My mum has a Speedy 30 and it looks massive compared to this. Anyway, hers is very good condition. Beautiful, actually. Patina is lovely. Hand handles are beautiful. Um, as per usual, the Speedy lock is well tarnished and nowhere near as shiny as it was. Same with the hardware on the zips. Um, but it's still beautiful to open and close. Just actually, it's in really good condition. No zip pocket, just the internal, like whatever you call that. Yeah. It. The only thing that's annoying is I decided to upgrade and I got a 25. We got this last year. So this is a comparison side by side. I have done a comparison video up there for these two. I didn't have this one. I used my mum's with the strap handle. But look at the difference in the, the handle. It's so much easier to wear this on your wrist, especially when it's full. Check out the videos linked below and up there of all the uh, relevant videos I've done for this bag. And then we've got another Speedy Dummy A Azure. Speedy 30, same idea. No strap bandolier, but it's in very good condition. It actually handles. I'd say this is this was used quite a lot. She's got a she's bought like a a thing that you put in the bottom to keep this nice and flat. But yes, that's that one. I've never been a fan, like I said, of this print, but people love it. And that's fine. I think they've been in retirement for a while. She doesn't use for these much, so there's those. We'll do Louis Vuitton and then we'll do the rest. So this is one of Ali's favorite bags and most used bags, the Alma BB in the Damier Aben canvas print. She's had it monogrammed and very good condition. Love the red inside. It's got the strap there. I've really been a fan of the Alma. It's very cute though, isn't it? That is the Alma BB. Does anyone else get the vibes from this Louis Vuitton canvas print? It just kind of looks like a chocolate bar. <laughs> I guess you could classify this in a handbag category even though it's not a handbag. My sister uses it as a clutch. It's the good old toiletry pouch 26. Very good condition. I'd actually love one of these just to use as a toiletry pouch. I think they've discontinued these, well they are. They have, you can't buy them anymore. So, don't mind it. I'm not really a clutch girl, gal. I do have clutches, but I don't really use them a lot. So, there you go. What, I wish that would fit an iPad. A fairly recent purchase, <laughs> the Multi pochette accessoire. I've never, ever, ever put this on before, worn this ever, tried this on in my life. So, that just it's not really me. So, I guess you just, I hope all the pockets, it's a bit annoying. She's got like, I mean, I like the green. Oh, it's got two. Okay, so this has a big open pocket. I think that's better because it can fit a phone. Like this one is better than the multi, so the mini pochette, it's a bit longer. So I think you can get a phone in this, very least in there. But I guess it's good because it's, it's just like three different bags all in one. I know she doesn't really use the key, the coin purse, but mm. it's cool because you can use them all different things but the strap's not really my vibe. Multi pochette accessoire in this beautiful green army green 
don't know what this is actually called shade <laughs> so you've all seen this before this is in very good condition and this i don't know what this would be ranked in her favorite least favorite you know <laughs> i tried i tried to get my sister to do this video with me <laughs> but here we are <laughs> so anyway I did find out her favourite current bags at the moment and one of them was the Alma BB and the other one I will show you next but yeah I think she does she does wear this a lot though so right this is my sister's favourite bag at the moment because it is cute I guess just tiny bag energy this is a mini pochette it's in the whatever this I don't know what year this was, two years ago maybe, might have been last year. Why won't you focus? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can still buy this one. It's just a mini pochette that's got black and cream. It's the extra large print, whatever they call it. And then it's got a suede, microfiber suede lining. And she uses this just all the time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think it's cute. You could fit your keys in there. Not a phone, unless you've got a tiny phone, but I guess it's nice so you can also take this off. Well, not take it off, but have a little wrist strap. 2010 moment. <laughs> I do, I actually wouldn't mind having one of these just for like a catch-all for bags, but anyway, there she is. Okay, so that's Louis Vuitton done for my sister's handbag. She does have a few SLGs, but I just said, just give me all your handbags because, you know, there's enough of those already. <laughs> My sister's got the Gucci Disco in black and I've got the, the tan version. And this is a very well used bag. Maybe not. But yeah, this is a great bag. Obviously, because I have one, I can vouch for how good it is. I mean, they're kind of basic now. Everyone's got them, but not basic, but I just still like them. I think they're beautiful. I just love the tassel and this is like really soft and smooshy now it's aged really well it's not showing up properly on camera as black it's just because it's a very iridescent leather effect but yes it's got the canvas lining and you can see it's been used a lot because of the state of it <laughs> now she also has this one I forgot she had this this is the Gucci Marmont, I don't know what you call this, camera bag, I guess, in this greyish beige mushroom taupe. Not sure on the official name of this. Got a bit of wear and tear, but I think she wears this that often. I a feeling she doesn't use it very often, but it's a lot smaller than the disco. Like that's some side by side. So <laughs> Yeah, this is tiny, really. Yes, it's tiny. I'm not a small person, so I guess. Sorry, Ali, I'm just not a huge fan of this color. It's a bit, it's a little bit vibrant enough for me. It's a little bit gray looking. Ali does love gray, wears a lot of gray. So she probably, probably loves this color, loves this bag. So I like it, but I think it's a bit small. I wouldn't use it. This is an oldie, but a goodie. I remember when she got this, this is a little Prada clutch fabric evening bag with a, you can tell what um, decade this was purchased in because of the <laughs> wrist strap. So it's kind of like a wet look Python print to it. Like this is just fabric. It's very squishy. I would say this is like, 2006, seven, I don't know, 2000, it's in like the early 2000s and look how well the hardware has aged. Good old Prada lining, nothing unusual there, but it's very cute. Yes, very age appropriate for the time when my sister got this. Sort of feels like neoprene, squishy. Hmm, which one's my favorite? Well, I'm not a fan of the speedies because they don't have a strap and that's why I got rid of mine. I'm not a huge fan of the Never Full for reasons I've already stated. If I had to pick one of these, I'd go the big size just for its, its use. I think 
out of all my sister's bags at the moment, this would rank pretty highly alongside this kitty. I would pick this one if I had to pick one of her bags to have, keep, because I have one of these and I love it. And I used it so much that it patinaed to the point of no return where it's really, really, really dark brown and I don't use it anymore. And it's also like cracked on the edges and like I would probably use this bag. My sister doesn't use hers. I reckon I'd bring this back and I'd use it if I had this bag. <laughs> so there you go. It's really hard. That's it. That is my sister's current luxury bag collection. Which bag of my sister's is your favorite? Comment down below. I'm a luxury addict. I don't have a huge collection. I love to use what I buy. So if you're interested in my luxury bag collection, check out that video. If you're into that sort of thing, please check out my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Or I'm getting really sweaty. Oh my God. I'm gonna go. Okay, so I'll see you next week. Bye.